Welcome back to more Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. Okay. So here we are. And, you know, right in the beginning, after Riverbell Path, and we unlock another event. his treasure most of the time that means food quiet at any rate we don't take lives after all you can't make money killing people if lives were worth something I'd sell my own right away killing people to take their money leaves a bad aftertaste I don't know where you heard that, but tell them not to spread such ugly rumors. Alright, so we get a little bit more backstory with that group there that tried to, you know, steal from us. I think it was in the last episode and they failed miserably. Alright. Also, you know how one of them said like, oh, um, we don't take, or like, killing doesn't get you money? Technically it can. Um, <laughs> if you just, like, get bounties or whatever, you know, there's like, there's this thing called bounties, being bounty hunters, right? Apparently so. Anyway, I'm going to head on over to the, um, second section of the game. I don't know if I'll be doing Mushroom Forest right away. I haven't fully thought about that quite yet. Because I do want to show off new stages and everything, you know? I think that would just be a little bit better. I decided to do River Bell just because, what the hell, you know? Why not? But. Okay. So I think the boat. Actually, it might not be there still. The ship? I'll have to see. It might not be until a future year, to be honest. Because, yes, I could do Mushroom Forest or the Mine of Catharges, and that's, you know, perfectly fine, whatever. Um, I just, I'd rather do something new if I possibly can. That's only if the ship is there. It is there. Okay, I can actually head on over so I can show that off. Nice. All right. Where to? The other side? Sure. It'll cost 50 gil, that's perfectly fine. It is not a lot, so I will do it. So there's a little event here, you just see this? Um, taking this to the other side. You can also skip this, uh, this scene, by the way, just letting you know if you wanted to do that. I'll be skipping it from now on, I'm just showing it the first time. Looks like a very nice, peaceful sail. 50 gil for that? Oh my god. I mean, I know it's actually a service, you know, but it just looks so simplistic. Alright. Um, so here in this other section, nothing much in this corner, as you can see. That's basically all there is, but... Um, if we head over here, we will see a, like a hole in the dirt or whatever. Somewhere on this side, yeah, right, right over here. And this actually is another Mog Stamp location. So, so far the only ones that I have missed, if I have this correct, is actually River Bell Path and the Mushroom Forest. I will definitely be doing those when the time comes. Uh, no, no, no. Not you. I'm trying to talk to you. Please do. That's a new one. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now that we can exit from here, we are going to be taken to... 
You'll see. You will see. Oh man. It's a new location that is correct. From the plains of... Or sorry, to the plains of fun. I don't know what I said from. Here we are. So, a couple new locations here. One of them is actually a, a little village. Um, but some of these are a little ridiculous. Zella Passion Cave specifically? Oh my gosh, that one is a pain in the ass. So here's the Fields of Fun. Okay. So it's not a big place, honestly. There's a couple of villagers here, but they don't really do anything. Um, but there are some merchants, so it is good, like you, for example. Bye. What you got? Bronze, iron, mithril. Same stuff as before. You do have the mithril ones, though. Okay. And sell. I can sell you some stuff that I don't need. Okay, so... Oh god, I think it was warrior's weapon, right? You know what, I'll just keep a Mithril armor, Mithril shield, that's, I don't want that. I already have that. Iron saddles are for Yuke, spells are for Selkies. I'll keep these for now, they're basically, um, they work for elemental purposes. And then these, I guess I'll keep those seeds for now, but that's fine. And let's see, over here we got, um... Alright, nothing there really. I do want to find the... The mock stand place, like always. You know what, let me go this way, actually. There's a crystal over there, I see it. That's nice. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down here now. Okay, I mean, usually, even if it's your first time playing, Finding the Moogle thing usually isn't hard because if you just kind of go around the edges everywhere You'll eventually get a prompt like examine and that's when you know like oh this is the right place for sure I say that now and I'm failing miserably, but yep I know you can also get in there in the actual field area here it is Drop in, found it. Yeah, I think you can get in there, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, there are distant sirens again. God damn it. Also, somebody just sent me a message on okay, you know what? Screw that. Please do. As we hear these annoying sirens in the background. Oh my gosh, that is so loud. See, what well, one of the really one of the really annoying things about living in a house that's like basically right at the avenue is that that happens a lot like if you were right in the middle of one of, of a small street it would be so much just more distant to the point where microphones are not going to be able to capture that sound you know but my house is basically the second one <laughs> um, closest to an avenue so anytime any police siren or anything drives by you can easily just hear it you know another merchant here Okay, so you sell food. But I think I'm fine. Yeah, so this here actually is, in fact, how you get in there. As you can see. There's not really anything important here. There's you. Where are you what are you going to say? Going for 500 gil? You can buy one of those, eventually. I'm not gonna do it. I, I have better ways of using my money, you know? Like, better weapons and stuff. Maybe a later, once I get more rich with stuff, you know? Sure, it's a possibility. But definitely not right now. Alright, and that's basically it for the Fields of Fum, as you saw. New diary entry? Nice. Oh. Got another Mog Stamp. It's all good. Alright, so Solo Passion Cave is honestly very long. Oh my god, another event. So I'm not going to take on that one yet. I will dedicate the next video to that. Daemon's Court is significantly shorter. 
and in terms of time to the point where I could do it as long as I don't keep getting fucking events that are long every time on my way over there. A few days ago, a monster attacked us from behind. We barely survived the encounter. So, do take care to watch your back. Remember, you journey not for yourself alone, but for everyone in your village. Their lives depend on your safe return with Myr. Simple enough, right? Get a little bit, um, a little bit of um, a tip. And bang, don't be this crazy warrior, okay? Choose your battles wisely. Alright, so I'm gonna head on over to Daemon's Court. Oh my freaking god, game. I'm just trying to make it over there. Jesus. Another diary entry. Wishing us good luck, right? <clears throat> I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and head up to Dame. Oh, are gonna, am I going to trigger another event somehow? Even though it's literally impossible now. Daemon's Court. One of the few stages in the game that does not have a single element on it. Let's go ahead and do this. Underestimate a monster. So warned an old man with many caravans under his belt. I was grateful for his counsel, even before I set off. But I have since seen things that surpassed my worst fears. I can only hope he was speaking of this place. If not, what greater horror could possibly await us? Daemon's Court, here we go. Okay. This is definitely, um... Pick up money as a bonus. All right, this is a. In my opinion, it's one of the fun state, one of the very fun stages, um, just because of how much I don't know. Like the concept is kind of cool, too. Um, you can actually make it really, really fast into the boss if you just honestly find the right monsters that have the two little things to get to the boss. Um, but if you want to take more time exploring, then you definitely can. Uh, so these are the big ones. They're freaking annoying. Their attack actually stuns you. I'll take this fire. Sure. I don't really... I don't think I'm going to be using it. But whatever. Alright, so... Oh, there's Cure. Nice. Glad I got that. Oh, shit. Alright, so one of the things I should say here... This... Oh my god. That's a ghost. I highly recommend avoiding those when you're fighting them in their ghost state because they're undead creatures. Um, I'll talk more- wait, what the hell? Okay, you know what? Oh my god, just get out. Stop following me. Okay, that's- nope. Stupid- okay, these little bees I also hate because they stun you. Okay, you're doing attack first. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I- Oh my god. Stupid annoying enemies, man. Dude, I can't- 
Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, hold on. Dude, you're always missing the first attack of your combo. How? Okay, thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of annoying enemies here. Alright, um, we'll take that. Okay, so I think I need to get, um... Is it, what, life or something? Or clear? Or, no, not clear. Raise? So I can combine that to make holy. Yeah, you can make holy. You just have to get the right one. See, that's a cure. I guess you could also use cure on some... enemies, right? And that should probably hurt them a little bit. I mean, I know you have to use holy to temporarily get rid of the status of being undead for some enemies, which significantly reduces the amount of damage that you do to them per hit. Gore potato. I'll take it. Alright, so basically the stage has these long ass things over here in the corners and the whole size and perimeter of the stage. You basically want to get through through them as fast as you can. These particular enemies with this different shading are the ones that actually have the pieces that can grant you access to the boss himself. They have a lot of fucking health though. As you can kind of see, I'm a little under leveled here. Or like stat-wise, I believe. Okay, definitely have to heal up. Oh my god. Get the hell away from me. Oh my god, I can't find a good time to... Now, now, now. Yeah, do you see this? I need to up upgrade my strain significantly because they are taking a lot of hits. It's more than 12 hits. Per. I also need a better weapon, that's the other problem too. That I have to go ahead and upgrade fast, because I'm running into a problem here. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece over to the central portion. Let me just go ahead and do that. Kind of a pain that you have to run all the way over here, you know? Alright, but it's basically right there. So that's one. Um, you know what? I guess I'll... Oh god. There's more of those, huh? Uh, I see more undead creatures. Yeah, this is a little bit of a complication here. Oh god. Definitely have to craft a better weapon sooner than later. Okay, so that's just a little shortcut back that way. Oh, that's a mage. Do you not attack me? Do you just do magic? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm trying to craft something better. Alright, um, I will go ahead and take that. Another here, I don't need that. Alright, let's run it up here. I will go to the left, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's not working out. They're a little too spaced and I can't consistently net that two-hit combo with my focus attack. I'm not sure what's happening, but... Alright, that one's dead. That's good. What is this? Master's Weapon. Jesus Christ, okay. Let's go in here. Can only imagine how difficult the boss is gonna be, how much health he's gonna have. Oh god. Okay, this is not oh god, and there's a big one there too. Oh Jesus. We alerted him. Yeah, and the big ones stun you with their attacks. You want to be very careful about those. There are a lot of enemies here. Holy shit. Okay, okay. You want to take care of only some at a time. Okay. 
Go back, that's right. Oh, you... No, what are you... How dare you do that, man? Okay, kill that one. That's one down. Out of like seven. <laughs> or whatever. Go! Oh my god. Getting that gill was the end of me there. Took half a second and it bit me in the ass. Alright, let's... Go ahead. Oh my fucking god, can you die? I'm getting real pissed off at this. <laughs> but to be fair, it's my fault for not crafting a better weapon coming in here. Even though it's phase one of this stage, you can definitely see the difficulty increase. How much health these things have. It's crazy. Okay, so... There's an artifact, I'll probably just take it and go. And get and gets and gets her in. Okay, so what I have to do is find the find the second enemy of those that have that piece. So I can go ahead and plug it in there. Are there any treasure chests over here by the way? I don't think so, but there is I have to find the mog stamp thing too though. Isn't it? Yeah, it is right here. Oh, I'm trying to What the hell? Are you kidding me, game? I thought that was a cutscene. Apparently it's not. No, no, the game keeps going. If you get that problem, the game literally keeps going. So you gotta be very careful. Okay. Once you select it, then... Okay, that makes sense. What's up? Please do. Alright, let's see what you give me. Alright, that's the second one, I see. So Damon's Court is now done with the stamp. Oh my god. Take it, take it, go, go. Alright, so I need to, um... I need to run to the other side. Because I'm pretty sure the second one is going to be somewhere on this right side. I can only imagine. Okay, so that's a ghost. I guess I can kill these guys. I just hope I don't attract any of the... God damn it, I did. Okay, I killed them, so I killed them. Money. I'll take that. There it is, actually. That's the one. So I actually don't need to dive in too far. Okay, well, but the problem is that- oh shit, okay. Okay, these ghosts need to leave me alone. Run back! Thank you. Okay. There we go, that's perfect. Now it's only these two, that's exactly what I want. Let me go ahead and kill- oh no, the other ghost is back! Shoot. Get closer, get closer. Oh boy. No, that's not what I wanted to hit. Stop running away! Got him, got him. Okay, that's one down. That's, that makes it a little easier. There we go. Got you. I'll take this. Let's just make a run for it. So I really hate to do this, people, but because I'm not well equipped to take on Damon's Court, as you can kind of see, I'm going to have to just make a rush for the boss right now. And I hope to God that I can just clear it with not too much problems. Um, I'm gonna have to come back here once I have to make massive upgrades to my weapon and start getting more strength-based artifacts. Yeah, because I'm not gonna be able to survive in this easily. Like, I'm freaking dying over here like crazy, you know? So, let's just take on the boss and get that artifact going.
And there's the Lizard Man King. Also, this was such a long intro to this boss, I'm just saying. Alright, so he does have some minions with him, right? I believe. Pretty sure. So you can actually use the, um... Okay, yeah, but they're over there. They're not really attracted to me right now. What the heck? I'm sure we'll get her eventually. But, um... Yeah, there's like buttons on here. If you press them, they make like little gears or whatever. Like, I, I think that's what happens. However, let me just say, it's completely optional, and in fact, usually when I play this, I, I end up not even using that. Also, the boss is not actually particularly difficult. It's perfectly fine. I'm mean, taking a fair amount of damage here, but partially it's those stupid minions that are not making it any easier. Alright, so I really like it when he defends, because that's your chance to pummel him away from the back. Hopefully he does it a little bit more often. Okay. Now that one actually does, I think, a full heart. That attack. I'm pretty sure it does. I'll make sure about that. Well, I mean, now I'm just avoiding it fairly easily now that I got the attack pattern down. Yeah, that. Just get behind them. And you can take, like, two full sets of three hits each. Oh, yeah, wait, that was one, right? Yes, it, wait, no, that was one and a half. Pretty sure. Also, that attack just missed me. <laughs> Holy, okay. Now that's it. That wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, the boss himself was not, but the enemies are getting tougher, so I really have to make an upgrade and I have to keep getting some of those, these best artifacts to keep improving. Let's see if I can, though. Let's see what I can get. Alright, so I'm gonna skip that scene there, of course. This is the whole getting mer thing. Male, of course. I will definitely see that. Um, okay, striped apples. Huh. I'll try them. I will send item. I will do... Cherry cluster. I got your reply, Capo. So long, Capo. All right. Let's see here. Pick up money. Okay. Let's see how much I got. 87, not a whole lot to be honest, but let's see here. Okay, I got some loaded dice and get Surin. I'm gonna go with, yeah, strain plus twos. Here we go. Let's take these. Upgrading that strength, you know, that's our priority here a little bit. Alright, let's see if we get any more events, and we do. Okay, I have to make it back to Celepassion Cave, so I can go ahead and complete that one next episode. Then in the next year, I'm going to actually prioritize, of course, getting that better weapon. I definitely have to start doing that. Enough already. Now, now, don't get so angry. It's bad for your beautiful complexion. First you claim a phantom city is hidden deep within a volcanic cavern, protected by a great crystal. Then you claim a fountain of myrrh flows on an island paradise across the sea. Yes, it sounds like a dream, does it not? Dream on your own time. I've had enough of your tales. We part ways here. <laughs> no, don't leave me behind. How am I supposed to survive out here alone? Please, you shouldn't joke about such things. Who's joking? 
You'd better go find your island before the miasma gets you. Oh, come now. Let's change the subject. You're starting to sound like you're serious. <laughs> I am serious! Oh. Well then, enough of the island paradise. Have I told you of the legendary treasure hidden beneath the desert? That does it, we leave him. Oh, come now. I say... Don't believe a word he says! Now that was uncalled for. What about all our adventures together? My name is Gurdy. I doubt we'll meet again, but let me walk with you until another caravan comes by. Say, how about a poem? Lightning brings the cactus pain. Now it all begins again. Was it lightning or thunder? Oh well, they're practically the same thing. It shouldn't matter. Believe it or not, those are actually clues to something very late in the game. To be able to get a, a different element for your chalice. But that's something I'll be talking more about later as we get closer. Um, anyway, it's basically on time here, so I'm just going to run back down. And no event this time. Down to Cello Passion Cave. And I'm just going to go back and save the game until next time. We're going to take on this rather long dungeon. It is fairly complicated, I will say. It gets confusing even for me, I will be honest. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.